Shabbat Shalom. And a pleasant good morning to you. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad that the Lord protected you all week and watched over you and brought you back. As I always tell you, a lot could happen. I know that because I get a lot of calls about stuff happening to a lot of people all over the world. Does anybody realize what's going on in the world right now? Oh yeah. Are you, are you aware? I hope I hope you clearly. Do you know what's going on in Egypt? Yeah. Do you know what's also going on in Jordan? Yeah. Do you know what's also going on in Lebanon? Yeah. Do you know the three countries that surround Israel? Yeah. <coughs> Egypt, Jordan, and Lebanon. Do you know? You, you guys need to get out more. Um, you really do. They're rioting. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people are rioting, and these governments are going to be overthrown. And even though even though these governments are corrupt, the governments that are going in are so far more dangerous. They are, you know, the, are you familiar with the, the Islamic or the Muslim Brotherhood? The Muslim Brotherhood influence them. You should really know your history. I'm not trying to be difficult, but you should really know what's going on in the timeline. Also, do you realize what's going on in the Security Council right now, the UN? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, they're voting to put Israel back to the pre-1967 borders. Yep. And of the 15 members, 14 is already okay. That the only one that hasn't, but she's wavering, is the United States. If that happens, it's the beginning of the end, do you realize? So while you're worried about maybe the refrigerator not working, you know, the lawn doesn't look good, or your back hurts a little bit, you really should understand where we're at. This is unbelievable. It's never been like this. Do you know the pre-67 borders? Do you know what they look like? Gaza is occupied by Egypt. Jordan takes over all of Samaria and all of Judea. Do you, do you, do you know what that's like? She can't, she can't protect herself at that point. It's impossible. And with those three countries being overthrown and Sharia law taking over, I'm just telling you, on one end, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's an incredible time we live in. Because these things have to happen. I wish they didn't have to happen. I wish, I wish, you know, Adam and Eve didn't touch that forbidden fruit needed. I, I wish a lot of things didn't happen. But these things have to happen. You understand? They're prophesied. And when God prophesied, you can guarantee you can take that to the bank. He's never, he's never bounced the check yet. There's no foreclosure going up on the heavens. So we're really coming into this place that I've been waiting for for a long time. The restoration of all things, guys. Anyway, well, the Super Bowl's on next week. Come on, guys. Come on. Help me out. The show is coming soon. Come on, you, can spend, you can spend three minutes on the internet and, and get what I just told you. Three minutes. I mean, for, for us, Yeshua said to us, when you see these things, which I just mentioned to you, look up. Do you know what that means? It doesn't mean, well, what's going to happen? What's going to be? What, what's going to happen to my life? What, look up with excitement because your redemption was not.
And the end of the story for some is the beginning for us. It's the very beginning of all story. You understand? Some of you have been struggling and saying, God, why, why? Well, it's not so much why, it's who. And he's coming. All your prayers are going to be answered. He's coming to, to, for the final deliverance. Don't you get it? No more pill parade. No more having to search on the internet. What is this? I can't find a cure for this. They've done every test. All that's done. Oh, happy day. Well, anyway. My son gave me a verse this morning. He told me that the Lord put it on his heart. All of nine years old, so I'll read it to you. I called to the Lord in my distress, and he answered me. I know some of us are celebrating. We should be celebrating. It's a special day that the Lord set aside to hang out with his kids. But I know some of you are going through trouble. I know. I know some of it personally because we've shared a lot together. And some of you have not shared it, but we're going through some stuff. The Bible says that those who called out to the Lord in their distress, he answered them. And you know what? I believe it. So join me in prayer. Father, thank you so much for this very special time that you've set aside. Thank you that we can be in the presence of like-minded people, Father, people that just love you and want intimacy with you and want to let you know how great we think you are. Um, it's, it's just unbelievable that we are, we are children, sons and daughters of the Most High God, that uh, the great causeless cause is our daddy, and you're always looking out for us. Even in times of distress, you're doing something for our good. Because nothing you do to your children is bad. Nothing. I believe that. Nothing. Nothing. And Father God, you've proved yourself time and time again. So once again, we're just delighted to be in your presence. Lord, I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I pray that you would unstop the ears of my family and my people and unveil their eyes. Father, I look forward to that great revival you promised in the nation of Israel throughout the world. And Father, if I can be bold, I'd ask you to open up a portal, the very door to your heavenly realm. And I'd ask you to rain down a piece of your glory and your power upon your children here at Beth Yeshua this morning. We love you, and we pray that you receive our praise and our worship, and we can put a smile on your face, Father. And we pray this all in the name of Yeshua who made it all possible. And God's people said, Amen.